Abby has three Valentines. <gasps> Abby, is this true? She's a player! She's just like you, Mom! Well, the good news is if you do move on to the bigger one, that's the last time, right? There's no it's more moving on. <laughs> I knew this day was coming, and I'm not, I wasn't looking forward to it. Looks like it, I want my laundry. Are you okay? Is it like really short? Turn around. Well, I couldn't tell what she's doing, she just, because bagels are shaking right now. It's super cool. It's super cool. It's so dust. I think it's cool though. Okay, we have a confession to make. Abby has three Valentines. <gasps> Abby, is this true? She's a player! She's just like you, Mom! Who? <laughs> Does Rhett know this? <laughs> but the other two guys know because the one of the guys asked her and she said yes and then those two were in a field trip and they were in the same car and another guy in the back asked Abby <gasps> and you said yes I like them both <laughs> you mean you like all three <laughs> oh my gosh so are one of them in your class both of them <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> Abby mess around man I can't believe you. Be kind to everyone. Th does this mean you have to buy three Valentines? No. Have fun. <laughs> Abby, I love you. You remind me like of me. Are you ready for your harp lesson? We gotta go. Have you packed a one? Abby usually plays on the medium harp, which is over here. And her teacher put her on this big one, and we're thinking it might be time to, to switch. She's bringing strings at the bottom. Well, the good news is if you do move on to the bigger one, that's the last time, yeah, right? There's no it's more the moving last on. Time, unless you just want a different bigger one at some point. Okay, well, I've got a lot to think about. Abby, so do you. My thought was maybe you could, like, play for like, I don't know, go play for some people. At an old folks home or something. I think that'd be a great Wouldn't idea. that be a good idea? I think that would be a great idea to help earn your harp. Would you do that? Would you be willing to do that? I wondered if I were her, I would have enough courage to go through this quest to sail straight toward the lair of the Cyclops. Every week uh, in the morning, we come to my uh, teachers, we come to our lessons, and on the way there and on the way to school, I just read out loud. It's really helped your reading come along. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I love you. Love you Bye. I knew this day was coming and I'm not, I wasn't looking forward to it. Abby got her very first harp for Christmas when she was in first grade. We were not vlogging at the time and I was a little like, the feelings that I had were like of excitement because I knew Abby wanted to play the harp, but they were also of like dread because I knew how expensive harps were and that she wouldn't be able to stay in that harp forever. Um, so I'm kind of freaking out right now that she needs the, the grand harp. In January, Kevin and I sat down and we're like, okay, here's our goals for our family emotionally, spiritually, mentally, like financially and under financial goals. Like it never occurred to us to put a harp on there. And to kind of give you an idea of what kind of major purchase it is, it's the equivalent of buying a brand new Suburban. One of the reasons that harps are so expensive, you may not know this, but it takes years to build a harp. At least two years, or is it seven? 
Oh man, I forgot. Now I'm gonna have to go look it up. But for all those years that it takes to make one harp, they have to be paid <laughs> for their time and for their skills. And so it's appropriate to pay them that much, but it's just a lot, you know. I was also told by a friend after Abby got her harp, she said, you wait and see. If you start your daughter on the harp, you will see miracles in your life. Gosh, it makes me emotional. It does make me emotional because what she said was true. She said, and she's got little harp players herself and she teaches. And she said, she says, I've never ever met a family who, who started their kids in harp and did not see miracles happen in their lives. And two years after Abby got her harp, we started our YouTube channel and we've seen miracles happen in our family where we were able to get her that, her middle sized harp. So anyway, I, I know something's gonna work out. And, I, and I'm grateful that she has this chance to play. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have to share this with you. Isn't there a scripture somewhere that talks about if a woman loses, I think it was a pearl and like she searches her house all day and then when she finds it, she like shouts it to the village that she found it. Um, I have to shout to you that I found this. Oh my goodness, I've been so, so, so sad. This is my jewelry, this is where I keep it and I just found this stand on Amazon. I think it was like, it was either $14 or it was $20. I can't remember, but it's a towel holder. <laughs> I was like, I could hold jewelry on it. And and I put all of my gold chains on it. So this um, it was the gold chain that I got this Christmas. And then my mom gave me this one um, my senior year. Kevin gave me this one after we lost our son to a miscarriage. And um, anyway, they all have special meaning to me. Ellie gave me this one. I was going through and I was like, I can't, I know it was here, I saw it, I, but I lost this gold chain with a pearl on it that my mom gave me when I was in junior high and I wore it for my senior pictures. I wore it in our banner, all of the pictures of me and my yellow jumper I had with that, yellow, with that gold chain and I'm like, I can't find it, I can't find it. And I have just been like, <sighs> I've been really sad about it. And then this morning I was just No, I I don't want to over dramatize it like but but trying to fit in buying a harp this year was just not in the plans. And I've just been nervous about it and talking to Kevin about it and just I'm sorry, just praying that things would will work out. Maybe I need to switch some things around and Anyway, um, I got an email this morning from my editor who's been working on my book and she's like, I've got the outline all done. She's like, I'm going to start taking your writings and chunking it into the different um, chapters and we can move the chapters around as you want or we can add chapters. But like, she's a month ahead on schedule. That wasn't supposed to be done until the end of next month. So I was like, oh, that was really good news. That brightens my day. <laughs> And then I came in here to get dressed and I'm like, what should I wear? I don't know what to wear. <laughs> I don't have much to choose from. I haven't worn this shirt in a long time. And I went to get the shirt and pull it off. And look what I found. I found... <laughs> It like got hooked on a button. It must have fallen off and gotten hooked on a button, but I found that gold chain with the pearl on it that my mom gave me years ago. And I just, I just felt when I found it, I just felt this, the spirit tell me everything's gonna work out okay. And I, and then I had the thought, you need to share this too on your video. You need to let your viewers know that everything's gonna be okay for them too. And I know I don't know you personally, I know I don't know what you're struggling with, but I just want to tell you 
in case nobody else is telling you that everything's going to be okay. And, and I send my love to you, and I send my prayers to you, and I hope that you feel that, that everything is just going to work out. Mom, I was embarrassed on the road. Why? Because um, I was, because everyone was seeing my turtle, and they were in love with it. Like, I don't know. they were in love with your turtle. Did you take your turtle to the reading rug? Is that okay to take toys to school? Your teacher said not to take toys. No, no, they take. We take toys to school all the time. You're not supposed to. I just realized I forgot to take Eve to her dance class and I'm really hoping she doesn't notice. I've just been sitting here working. This is like, this is my office. This is where I work. Time got away from me, but you know what I did? Have you guys heard of this underwear? I ordered some for Sherry and for Abby, and they're going to use them and then do a review on them on Sherry's channel. So I've been totally curious about these. I think a lot of people have been curious about them, but they're kind of, they're expensive underwear. They're like between 30 and $40. But if they do work, then they're totally worth the price based on what you're saving on um, feminine products for the month. So we will see if this was a good investment or if it was just a crappy purchase. If you want to follow Sherry and find out what her thoughts are on these and Abby's thoughts on these, um, her channel is Sherry Frankie. So go make sure that you're subscribed and click the bell so that when they come and her video gets posted that you will see it. I normally don't interrupt a very peaceful evening and that is exactly what we were enjoying at home. But I realized, I think today was the only day I could bring the kids in for haircuts and they really need them. They haven't had, the girls haven't had haircuts since before school started. Russell put on his clothes and we are gonna get some hair trims real quick before dinner. Are you okay? Is it like really short? Oh, okay. Stop. Turn around. I well, I, I couldn't tell what she's say. doing. She just, Are I mean, it looks mean, really fine right now, but, and you're also wearing a hood with a hood. Yeah, so, I, I mean, of course it looks bad because the hood is making it look bad, but. Like, do the layers look okay? Because she showed me the back. I was just like, <laughs> Did you tell her I don't want layers? Well, no. So she sat down. She's like, what do you want? I was like, like the teeniest amount of trim possible and it like a tiny bit of layers. And she showed me. She picked up hair and she held it like right above my hairline. She's like, oh, so layers like right here? I was like, yeah. And then she started trimming. She took like she three kept getting inches off. I was like, oh. She kept getting closer and closer and closer and closer. No, I saw like this like getting chopped off. I was just like. Is it uneven? Well, I, this is just what I was looking at. Is it's like, 
Well, and she you, asked me. She was like, "Do you frame your face like how?" Well, because she was like, gonna because no. she was gonna trim this, but it's like there's a there's a hole there. What it almost looks like you need to have it framed now by your face. No, I'm just gonna take scissors and chop like a teeny bit off it right there. No, don't do that. No. Well then. No, don't do that because it's it is, so ugly. If you part it on this side, it, it helps it because it puts more hair on that other side. So if you part it, oh. I know you're not used to it and your hair is not used to it, but it it thickens that side so there's no more hole there. Mm. And you're just going to have to be strategic in how you fix it. It'll thicken back up. It won't. When? Oh, your hair grows fast. Oh, it's so ugly. Look, it's like a line. I know. I know. Mom. Honey, I'm so sorry. Let's go see Dad. See Dad's not going to notice sorry. anything. Oh. Dad, is there anything wrong with the back of my hair? Wrong? Yeah. No. What's the way here? It's horrible. Look, do you see the line of layers? Oh yeah, no. I see it. My hair is so ugly. I think it's pretty. I am not. I it it's not what you wanted. I know that it's not what you wanted, but I think it's just fine. I think it's I just won't be fine. I'm straighten my hair. I know. Forever. I know, but you know what? That's I'm not the worst thing. Hair. And it's straightened right now, and it's okay. No, it's not. Look at the back. Mm. You're just going to have to curl it and keep it. We're going to find you someone really, really nice. Three months, at least. Have an Ellie moved on here again. No, I know. Kidding. We need her.